So I wanted to show you really quickly how to create Google Ads callout extensions. And it's a pretty straightforward process. We're going to start by selecting a campaign from the top up here. So you can just click this drop down, select the campaign that you want to add the callout extensions to. I recommend adding callout call out extensions at the campaign level. You can also um, share them between different campaigns, which is pretty straightforward. You can just basically uh, select these, click add to, and that will allow you to add them to other campaigns or even ad groups or what have you. But let's go through how you actually create these, set them up, and all that good stuff. So once we have the campaign selected, over here on the left side, we're going to see this assets option. If we click on this, that's going to show us a bunch of different assets, which used to be called extensions. It's basically the same thing. They just changed the name. Uh, but by default, you'll normally be on all, which will show you basically all the assets or extensions that are in that campaign. But if you click call out right here, that's going to filter down to just the call out extensions. And then all we do is click this blue plus sign right here. That's going to pop open this window where we're going to be able to just pop in some different text here for the call out extensions. Of course, we can add more by clicking this button if we desire. And the idea with call out extensions is to beef up the ads with more relevant information that people would want to know about if they were going to work with your company. So if we come over and do a search, in this example we're talking about custom closets in Phoenix, Arizona. So we see this company that's talking about how they do custom closets, they got 20% off, free installation, blah 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 blah. <laughs> And so this is their headlines, right? And then this is their description right here for their Google Ads. Actually, it looks like it goes to right here. And then these are call-out extensions from what I can see. It's like, call us for a free quote now, 100% lifetime warranty, 4.85 or 4.8 star rated. And this is going to be you know make the ad a bit bigger it's going to add more relevant information it's kind of making the ad more appealing in a sense uh, you know 100% lifetime warrant like if you were to read through all this at the end it has some additional information that's going to make you feel better about working with this company that's kind of the idea with call out extensions it also makes your ad a bit larger so it takes up more space which improves your click through rate you can see this one's just the descriptions here, same with this one. So they don't really take up quite as much room on the page, which means they're probably not going to get as many clicks as this one up here at the top. And their cost per click is likely to be higher, etc., etc. So that's the advantage to adding in call-out extensions. And you can see the example of kind of what we've used so far. Locally owned and operated, free estimates, professional crew, competitive prices, fast and friendly, superior service, save 40% on service today. And we can add more. I think you can add up to like 15 at a time, something like that. Uh, but I think the more, the merrier. So long as you're not starting to get irrelevant with them, like just stuffing it with different stuff that's almost the same or what have you. But... You know, we can start adding in stuff like fits any budget, right? Satisfaction guaranteed, space saving designs, fast transformations. You kind of get the idea. We can even kind of go off of what that other company was doing and say like five star rated. If we actually are a five star company, <laughs> like if we have five stars on the Google reviews or what have you. Um, and so then this is going to show up after the two descriptions like I was showing you before and then it's going to help our ad be more relevant take up more space be more compelling and drive more people to click and buy from our company that's ultimately the idea here now there is a character limit so you can only use up to 25 characters so that's it's not like you can just have like a whole you know 
50 words or anything like that. Um, and then you can add these at the account level, the campaign level, or the ad group level. I recommend doing it at the campaign level. There may be some instances where you'd want to do it at the ad group level. But typically at the account level, uh, I mean, you could. I guess if you're just advertising, if you're only running like one or two campaigns and it's all closet, you know, in this example, if it's like custom closets that we're talking about doing installs and building and designing and stuff, some of these might be overlapping. Uh, but I just kind of like to do it at the campaign level so that I can make sure that it's really relevant to what we're talking about in the campaign itself. Once we've added these in, we can adjust these if we do feel like they need to be scheduled at a specific time and date. I hardly ever use this. Um, I don't know, maybe if you're like, call now for a free quote or something, and you're only open during certain times, right, then you can um, schedule the assets to show at specific times. There may be some cases for doing that, but for most people, they're just going to pop these in here. Put in as many as you can, so long as they're still relevant, which I think it goes to 15, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, it goes to 20. So you're going to have up to 20 of these at a time, um, and then you can just click Save, and that's going to go in and add these to your campaign. And then you're going to want to give it some time to let it run, and then you can come back in here and start to analyze the data and see what's going on with your call-out extensions. Now, this can be a little bit deceiving because call-out extensions can't really get clicked on. Right? If we come over here, we can't actually, there's like no way to actually click on any of these extensions or even the descriptions. What we can click on is the headline, the site link, the call button. Uh, we can click on the URL basically this whole section up here um, but we can't click on any of this stuff so when you see these numbers like the number of clicks it's not actually people clicking on the extension itself what's actually happening is Google's figuring out okay when you show this as this asset or extension locally owned and operated on an ad how many how many times does that ad get clicked when this asset or extension is shown on the ad? So this specific one right here, we'll just look at one at a time. So we'll look at this one. It's shown up on our ad 1,355 times. Of the times that it's shown, it's gotten the ad itself has gotten 39 clicks, which has resulted in a 2.88% click-through rate an $8.48 cost per click, and we've spent $330 on the ad, gotten two conversions, cost per conversion is $165. So that's going to allow us to analyze and see how the ad performs when there's different extensions showing up or assets showing up with the ad. It looks like there's really three of them that are getting solid or I guess that's four that are getting solid results competitive pricing professional crew free estimates locally owned and operated fast and friendly doesn't seem to be well it is getting a, a pretty significant click-through rate here cost per click looks decent but we've already put $228 into the ad with it showing up and haven't gotten a conversion whereas this one we put $320 into the ad with this extension showing up and gotten three conversions cost per conversions $107 so free estimates seems to be somewhat powerful now you want to make sure you have plenty of data right like these each only have about 40 clicks 30 40 clicks probably want to have a couple hundred clicks before we really start assessing in depth how things are performing it's the law of large numbers right the more data you have the closer you're going to get to the average and like the actual click-through rate conversion rate all that type of stuff but again it's not as if people are clicking on this extension or asset and then becoming a lead it's just when it's showing on our ad so Google's going to kind of test and it's going to try this one along with this one and along with this one 
and figure out over time what's actually getting you the highest click-through rate, the best conversions, etc. And then you can you can come in here like say we decide that this one is not performing quite as well and because we're adding all of these new ones uh, we we just don't really need to use this one anymore then we can just click this little drop down next to the green circle here click pause and test some different callout extensions to see what's going to perform even better so that's kind of the 500 foot view on how to create Google Ads callout extensions. I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comments section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.